الشافعي الصغير the little شافعي this man was uh, jailed in Syria for 22 years 22 years when I was in Damascus we used to hear his name that there was a shaykh whose name was Hashim al-Majdub known as the Shafi'i al-Saghir and he was locked up and perhaps he's dead, no one knows his grandchildren were in my class suddenly we hear that the shaykh has been released suddenly we hear that the shaykh has been released uh, myself and some of my friends we went to visit him uh, one of our teachers Sheikh Hussein Darwish, Sheikh Hussein Darwish from uh, the outskirts of Damascus, the Wuta area known as Jisreen. He was the Shafi'i scholar of this area. Many of the Western uh, students who are Shafi'i benefited from him intensely, uh, from Sheikh Hussein Darwish. And his family is a family of scholars. His two younger brothers were graduates of Al Fatih al Islami and they were described by our teacher Sheikh Abdul Razak al Halabi as two scholars Sheikh Sadiq Darwish and Sheikh Muhammad Darwish. Anyway, Sheikh, Sheikh Hussein Darwish took us to visit him and we in an area known as Harasta, sorry, Duma, in an area known as Duma. And Duma is a very significant place in that it is one of uh, the rare places where all of the people are Hanbali. All of the people are Hanbali. And they are still on the madhab of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. And they, uh, one of the muftis of this area, was his name was Mufti Ahmad al-Shami, who was a Hanbali scholar. And our teacher, Shaykh Abdul Razak al-Halabi, said about him, he said, I never saw a scholar with greater adab than him. I never saw a scholar with greater adab than him. If he had visitors in his house, he would never turn his back to them. Even whilst walking out of the room, he would never turn his back to his visitors. He would walk backwards. So we went to visit him in his house. And subhanAllah, I have never seen nur on a person's face and a beard like the way I saw on his face. He said to us, I've been released after 22 years. It was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wisdom. And I taught many people in jail. I taught many people in jail. So we sat with him for a while. But our teacher, Sheikh Fawaz, told us that in his sittings with Sheikh Hashim al uh Sheikh Hashim told him that there were so many people who repented with him, so many people who studied with him, uh, so many people who memorized the Quran, so many people he taught how to recite the Quran. He said some of his uh, fellow inmates were moved and distanced from the Sheikh at times and their, their, in, their, their intensity of wanting to study and learn was so much that they would see the Prophet ﷺ in their dreams and the Prophet would teach them. This is what Sheikh Hashim ibn Zub said. That when they would be away from me, the, the intensity of their uh, wanting to study was so much that they would see the Prophet ﷺ in their dreams and the Prophet would teach them ﷺ. When I was in the second year of school, there was a brother, his name was Abdul Rahman. I, I used to sit next to him. He said to me, my father was jailed for 18 years. For five years of those 18 years, he studied with Sheikh Hashim al Majzub in jail. So you don't know where Allah will place you and where Allah will take benefit from you. This is why we just heard earlier on from our teacher Sheikh Samir. He said that when the Prophet ﷺ, uh, was asked by Sayyidah Aisha radiallahu anha and others, what was the most severe day that you ever went through in your life? Was it the day of Uhud when you were struck and when your blessed teeth were broken and blood was shed uh, from you? He said, no. He said, the most severest day that came upon me was the day of Ta'if.